Nestled between Belgium, France, and Germany lies one of the smallest and richest countries in Europe, Luxembourg. This tiny country is smaller than Rhode Island, but what it lacks in size, it makes up in breathtaking views and architecture. Today, I'm sharing with you my top five places to visit on a day trip. Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie and I am a travel fanatic. I'm also a military spouse currently living in Naples, Italy. I've only been here for about five months, but I am so thankful that I have been able to travel all over the place already and uh, I still have so much more time here. I'm gonna be here for three years, so I hope you hit that subscribe button and stick around for all of the fun things that I'll be sharing with you throughout my time living in Europe. I had the opportunity to go to Luxembourg way back in May of 2022 with one of my good friends. If you didn't know, Luxembourg is only about a hour and a half drive from the Ramstein Air Force Base. So I went up there to visit a friend who was stationed there and we decided to do a fun little day trip over to Luxembourg. You know, we didn't really have high expectations for anything. We just wanted to hang out and catch up and we ended up having an absolute blast. So much so that when my husband went up to Ramstein to work for the month, we decided to do another little road trip over to Luxembourg with our dog, Olive, and spent the day there and really Really just soaked up the ambiance of the city and enjoyed the tiniest little country. So let's jump right into it with my five must-see things in Luxembourg City for a day trip, of course. And just to make it fun, I'm gonna throw in two extra little bonus things at the end. Our first stop was walking around the Ville Hood quarter of the historic city center, also known as the Upper Town. This area is where you will find cute boutiques and mainstream shopping, as well as cafes, restaurants, and tons of outdoor dining. Soak up the beautiful architecture and check out the cathedral as well. The medieval square is currently under construction, so while we had to steer clear of that area, we still enjoyed strolling along the lively streets, grabbing a bite to eat, and cooling off with a refreshing coffee. If it's not too crowded, I recommend checking out Nope's Coffee Shop, Get an Espresso Tonic. Also, be sure if you are a beer drinker to check out The Store, that's the literal name of the place, for some craft beer options and honestly, the friendliest customer service you will ever encounter. And definitely make sure to stop at The Chocolate House because they have everything chocolate. And if you are a chocolate lover like I am, this place does not disappoint. Right across from the Chocolate House and second on our list of things to see is the Grand Ducal Palace. You can't miss the striking Renaissance architecture, so take a minute to soak it up and snap a few pictures. This palace was originally built in 1572 as a city hall and it's the current Duke's official residence. There are guided tours of the palace in the summer and you can buy tickets online, but this was just a day trip, so for us, we just decided to enjoy the views of the palace from the outside, really enjoy the beautiful architecture, and not really spend too much time with a guided tour. Our third stop is the Monument of Remembrance and Constitution Square. This is also a great starting place if you're looking to do the UNESCO World Heritage Walk of Luxembourg. We'll cover most of the highlights of that walk in this video, but check out visitluxembourg.com for the official walking map. There is a specific path you can follow to make sure you hit all of the sites, but also don't be afraid to wander around and enjoy the gorgeous, breathtaking views like we did. A lot of the parking lots are gonna be in this same area as well, so you could always start your day here. My friend and I did that the first time I went to Luxembourg, but there is definitely tons of parking. So of course, in the blog post that goes along with this video, I'll be sure to leave a bunch of Google pins so you have kind of the best area to park in order to be able to access all of Luxembourg City. My favorite part of Luxembourg is probably the Bot Cliff and walking the walls of the Corniche. Here is where you're going to get sweeping views of the lower town and really appreciate the lush greenery of this beautiful city. 
The Bach casemates are a maze of underground tunnels and galleries that were used as World War II bomb shelters, and you can take a tour of those. Unfortunately, these tours were closed both times I was in Luxembourg, but don't worry, you can still walk the walls of the Corniche for some amazing views. If you couldn't tell already, a lot of this is walking around because Luxembourg is so easy to cover on foot and you will run into so many beautiful viewpoints and observation decks that it really is worth just going on foot and finding what you find and just wandering and exploring the city. That being said, it is also super dog friendly. So we took Olive our second time and it was perfect. We were able to walk around the entire city, get her tired, stop and get a coffee, get a beer, get something to eat. And overall, it was just a really enjoyable day trip to kind of wander and not really have the stress of needing to make a guided tour or something at a specific time. After viewing the Grund from the upper city, make your way down and walk around one of Luxembourg city's oldest neighborhoods. The Grund is right on the banks of the Alzette River and it's considered one of the most authentic districts in Luxembourg. This charming area is quiet with basically no traffic. It's also known for some of the city's best restaurants. Don't worry if you need to get back up, there is an elevator. And pro tip, there are bathrooms in the little tunnel leading to the elevator as well. Okay, so those are my top five things to do if you are going on a day trip to Luxembourg City. Now, I told you I had two bonus ones. So the first bonus is if you are driving in, which chances are you probably are because of where Luxembourg is situated. This will also definitely be specific to my American viewers because obviously I am American. Make sure to check out the Luxembourg American Cemetery. The memorial and cemetery are about 15 minutes outside of the main city center of Luxembourg. The cemetery grounds are kept in pristine condition and are about 17 acres big. There are over 5,000 Americans buried here, including General Patton. This site is definitely worth checking out if you have time on your drive into Luxembourg. And of course, my second bonus, which honestly isn't really a bonus because we do this all the time, and if you travel throughout Europe, you probably do too, but do a free walking tour. We saw one going on and we were a little bit bummed that we didn't even think to book one. And we always book a free walking tour, honestly, pretty much wherever we're going. It's something we love to do on the first day that we get there to kind of get the lay of the land and really get you know a local's perspective. And generally they'll recommend a place to eat or a bar. And so when we walked by the free walking tour, we realized that we didn't even think to look for one. And because we saw one, I know they have them. So definitely check out a free walking tour if that's something you might be interested in. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos as often as I can and if there's anything specific that you wanna see, please be sure to leave it in the comments below. And also let me know if you've been to Luxembourg or if you're going and tell me what you thought of it. I definitely enjoyed it way more than I thought I would and I would probably go back for a third time. I hope you all enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.